Yeah, no. The point was, he was like, yo, he went in high school. He went to IMG. Like, the elite yeah. private school of private schools who recruits the most talent across the country. You can't give him credit for being just a guy on that team. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Uh, I get oh. So I mean, where you going? Yeah. All right, Fred. Fred, you kick kick it off and kick it let, off. Let, let, and then we'll, go. Yeah. We go. I feel like we're missing good content, so I, I I start the podcast. This is the greatest sports podcast in the universe, probably for for today. <laughs> we are discussing the NFL draft, the top few quarterback prospects because it's highly contested, especially on my end. And yesterday, I released a little bit of a controversial. Uh, podcast. I rated, if you didn't listen, I rated, I think JJ McCarthy and Drake May will end up both. JJ will be number one, Drake May will be number two, Caleb will be three, and Jaden Daniels. Daniels, Daniels will be fifth. Be you Michael, know his name. Michael, <laughs> Pence will be, Michael Pence will be fourth. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just out on Jaden Daniels, and it sounded. Right. Nate, it sounds here's, bad. The test. here's the ultimate test. Where 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 is uh, Bo Nix rated in this whole thing? Seventh. Se- who who who's sixth? Oh, sorry. Yeah, six. Yeah, we'll go six. I just don't like him. That's Not fair. a fan. Right. Not a fan. Okay. Is it? Is, I would it, have the, is it the second? age? Yeah, it's the age. It's well, the here's, age. Here's my other question about that. Like, mm. if if you have a quarterback coming in. Don't you want him to be a little more mature, not a young guy, like a guy who could resonate more with veterans and, and just no. no, you want like why not? Well, he's gonna be old. You're you're doing an investment. That'd be like buying into a stock two years after it has gone up more, and you're just you don't have a ceiling that you might have with you know, you're everyone he's talking Jaden Daniels. I've wondered this with with the with the change in the NFL, right, to putting more onus on the quarterback position, right? More dollars goes invested in them. There's more onus on them. Would it not make a little more sense to have a guy with a little more experience? Because you're going to expect him to come in, and in the first three years, he's got to produce. Because if he doesn't produce in the, next, in the first three years, you're not extending. You're going to have a Justin Fields. Fra- so Fraser's tra- treating the quarterback position like, like, like they're running backs. <laughs> Like, like I mean, they're over eighteen, man. I don't know. This, but, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, the the college game and the pro game is getting closer, right? Like we've seen so that, this. That was gonna be my point, Nate. Is like even the young kids now are balling out their first year, even if they are twenty, twenty one kind of thing, or, or on the younger end. Like the best ones, the cream rises to the top, regardless. There's a few like who who takes a while to get better. Typically, you know. Just like when we became best friends, Josh, I knew instantly. Instant, you know, you just, you just know. Mesh. I'm just I'm just buttering Josh up right now. <laughs> I, I, I hear it, I hear it, but I, I mean, there's, I, I get, I don't think it's necessarily translated to how people evaluate the quarterback position yet. But when I look at somebody who can come in, command the offense, command the team, get it, get things going. If I really want to use you for say a you know, five, five, six years, that first contract uh, versus having to spend big time money on you. If, if you're coming in 21, right? Like J.J. McCarthy's mm-hmm. how old? How old is he? 21? I think 21, yeah. 21, something like that. If he struggles those first two years, like like a Zach Wilson, he's going to be he's gonna be shipped out, right? Like he, he might not get another crack. Whereas if you come in, say, like a Michael Penix or – uh, Jaden Daniels, right? You've been around a bit. You've played the game. You can come in and make instant impact. Uh, you might you might stick around a bit better. Plus, I mean, I'm also looking at where they might land. Uh, where do you, where, if you have J.J. McCarthy as as one, I still don't think the Bears have taken him. But where do you no, think he? Can't. Where do you think he gets drafted? Then I think the Patriots could take him at three, and then if not. The Vikings or the Giants will trade up to four or five, most likely five. Yeah, so you if can't. He, if you're the Bears, you can't. You, you have can't to take, take Caleb. Him. Yeah, you have to take. You have to take if, him. So if he goes hypothetically, if he go, it, two very different scenarios in my opinion. If he goes to the Patriots, it looks very different than if Minnesota trades up for him. Minnesota mm-hmm. trades up for him. He's got weapons. 
he yeah. goes to the Patriots, he's got a rookie head coach. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever we think about Gerard Mayo and his coaching ability, like he's still going to be a first year head coach in Boston where I can't even name a receiver. I can't. Yeah. I can't name a receiver, can't name a running back. I yeah. can't name nothing. I think I think that that leads to a really good point that I wanted to make is where you go, right? And so my whole thing about JJ McCarthy, don't get me wrong, I like JJ McCarthy. I think he's a first round quarterback. I think he's going to be good. Um, but I just wanted to be known that he just played for the quarterback whisperer. Like this dude turned Colin Kaepernick into a quarterbacking savant. No hate against him, but without Jim Harbaugh. He would he wouldn't be in the league or there's a whole another can of worms. But yeah. he just he, he wouldn't be he wouldn't have been anything. And so, so Mahomes would be Mahomes without Andy Reid, like two. No, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So where JJ McCarthy goes has a big emphasis on on how good it can be, and that goes for every quarterback out there. But I just don't want to give him too much credit because he had an NFL quarterback whisperer as his college coach. But then also on the other side, Jaden Williams had Jaden Daniels, sorry, had two top wide receivers. They have a, the left tackle. He's going to go number one, number two overall next year. Like, like he's those both LSU, receivers are going, outrageous. Like, and his numbers were also outrageous for one year when he's in a fifth year senior. What? I mean, it's Joe Burrow, same thing. And, and but and that fair enough. Joe Burrow at least. Made it work, and I feel like he threw a lot more than he ran. Where Jaden Daniels runs so much, and I love a running quarterback, but he is going to get absolutely messed up. He's looking for he's a so. What, here's the other thing. Tail. Let's let's stick with Jaden Daniels right now. He was 185 pounds last year. Do you know how much I weigh? Like 178. He's seven pounds more than me. Look at my wrist. Add four inches of height onto this guy. He imagine Calais hitting me. Imagine Here's, Nate full speed hitting me. Like I'm right. dead. I got I was, some I got some numbers for you, Fraser. Uh, uh, Burrows. Yeah, no. JJ McCarthy threw for 2,991 yards, mm. 22 touchdowns, four picks, had a, a rating of 167. That's mm. a phenomenal year. Phenomenal. You're talking about Jaden Daniels, who like he runs a lot. Guess how many yards he threw for? A ton. Didn't he set a record 3, or something? 1,800. Mm-hmm. 40 touchdowns, four interceptions, quarterback rating of 208. Just because he can run doesn't mean he can't pass. But so he's just if in... I had to give him a comp, I mean, the only, the easiest thing to say is Lamar, but mm-hmm. he's not as dynamic or elusive or fast as, as him... Lamar. But he can pass. Can he, though? Him more, I give him more RG3 than I do Lamar. Great, great comparison. But mm. he also takes some hits. Like, mm. you watch him run. Like RG3. Like RG3, right? Lamar doesn't yeah. get hit. But I watched Jaden Daniels, and I, and I think there was some highlight, I want to say, at the beginning of the year, he just got blasted. Uh, yeah. And he, he, he does not need to take those types of hits in the NFL if he wants to. Because 185 is what I played at in college. Yeah. And, and I like- probably... It, and, and here's the thing: if you're getting drafted in the top five, you're probably not going to a team with a great offensive line. No, I mean they haven't projected two right to the Commanders. Mm-hmm. Here's my question: do do the Commanders mess up the pick? Do they just fudge it? Yeah, by taking Jaden Daniels. I wish I was going to say. I was about to say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made my I made a hundred dollar bet Drake May plus two fifty, and I was so excited for it. And then I was like. Shit, if it was anyone else by the commanders, they would take Drake May, but they're not going to because they're idiots. And so I'm going to screw that up. But Yeah, no, I think, I mean, I've, I've heard Jaden Daniels say that his dream scenario is to get drafted by the Raiders and play with Antonio Pierce, who is at Arizona State with him, who okay. also, when he was throwing to Brandon Ayuk in college, mind you, who's up mm. for his second contract. So sure. to your point, he Jaden Daniels is is older. And uh, there's also that, that thought process. <laughs> yeah. What dude wants to go to the Raiders and play for a new head coach? Because he <laughs> was with them in college at a school where he did terribly. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I think he's from California, so maybe he grew up a Raider fan. Yes. So. If I'm if I'm talking about weapons, though, I'd rather yeah. go to, to Devontae Raiders. Adams. Devontae yeah. Adams over 
again, the Patriots or the Commanders, like it's it's pretty questionable. Mm. Unless you got what McLaurin with the Commanders. Yeah, McLaurin. I mean, yeah. Commanders have like a decent roster. I just feel like their <clears throat> leadership is in shambles still. Yeah, you know, ownership just changed, right? So I mean, yeah. you're shaking that all the way from the from the root, uh, shaking mm. that all the way up. But he he could have an opportunity. Mm. I just I like more RG3 than I do Lamar. That's fair. Yeah. With him. yeah and I like Jaden Daniels. Like I love watching him and everything, but I just think his size and him being two years older than the other two. It's like, if you put JJ McCarthy LSU in two years or Drake may LSU in two years. Here's, here's my, my thought in, and it's a counterpoint to yours is I think Drake may has the biggest bust potential of these quarterbacks. Hmm. Oh, okay. he, what? He had the ultimate team, multiple NFL wide receivers at his time in North Carolina. Multiple. No, he had like one, and the one and like not a good player, like a mediocre player. He had multiple NFL. Who are the other ones? I mean, <laughs> I'll Google them. Let me just finish yeah. my one. Yeah, and that's the thing; they have to be Googleable. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't have to be Google? <laughs> The LSU's wide receiver class, they need to be. Yeah, yeah, that is like I know wide that. receiver you. They, like, <laughs> everyone knows that. And uh, here's here my point. Great. He had good receivers. Great running backs. Uh, great coaching. And Probably and not. still, like, I don't think he ever won the ACC championship. He had a D-list offensive line. And who are his great running backs and great wide receivers? They're just making things up. You sound like Donald Trump. I, I definitely, I mean, having my team being in the ACC, I don't remember North Carolina making a whole bunch of noise with, with I mean, Miami struggled to beat them. I'll give, I'll give you that, but we weren't uh, making a whole lot of noise either. Uh, no, Javante Williams, obviously I'm a Bronco fan, so that's the first one that comes to mind. It's the first Was round. Like four years ago? Three years ago? No, he's, he's just, he's, I mean, Drake Bay, he's been there a while. He's been in North Carolina for three years starting. <laughs> Yeah, so he was with them for his first year as a rookie. That's not anything. That, oh, so the first one that comes to the top of mind is not good enough for you. <laughs> no, it's you not. need more. <laughs> yeah, Dude, uh, Broncos wide receiver core right now wasn't wasn't lights out either. I don't I don't remember yeah. them putting up. Yeah, yeah, no, he's a running back. He's a running back. Oh, I'm running saying back. that that was like one of those running backs. I I, I don't know who he had as 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 wide yeah. receiver. Maybe, yeah. maybe they weren't great. And a D less so. The point is, is I, I think his win loss record was. I don't know, thirty-one and twenty or something, if that. Sure. And maybe I'm I'm giving him a little extra. Yeah, let's find there. that out. I would like to know Drake May's win loss record versus Caleb Williams. Career win loss record. I think I have that pulled up. Let now, me... are we are we are we claiming wins as a QB stat? Yes. Josh, I... what is your number one thing you look for in a quarterback? Your number one trait. You got you got to be a winner. You really? got to be a winner. Thank you. But I, I, there's so much that goes into it. It's obviously a team game. You could have an awful defense. You could have a terrible coach. You could have injuries. You could, there's a million things in football that could make you not win. Exactly. And so you can't just judge it solely mm -hmm. on win loss. No. And but I mean basketball, I can see win win loss. Football, you play half the you and play half the game. Especially at the college level, that's like, fair. Like, I mean, pro You're level, playing. pro level. You you know, quarterbacks now are throwing the ball 50, 50 times a game, 40, 50 times a game. Let me, let me ask college, you this: give me, give me one quarterback in the NFL who is really. Uh, never mind. I'm just on my own argument away. I was going to say who's really good, who lost a lot in college, and it's Patrick yeah. Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes yeah. didn't win it. Didn't win it. <laughs> It was so awful at Texas Tech. He, he was remember, incredible at Texas Tech. His team was I awful. remember when we were at a game, Texas Tech versus Arizona State. It was 110 degrees. The score was like 78 to 65. Yeah. Arizona State ended up winning the game. Do you yeah. know how? The so running Aiden, back set Aiden a college at eight at, fucking touchdowns. He set a college football record in touchdowns running against us. Ridiculous. <laughs> So, yeah. so college wins. I mean, you could, you could pass from Mahomes right, right off the bat. But Not, I think that's when you're like down your nitty gritty. Like once you're like, yeah, okay, you you can't compare a quarterback at Alabama to a quarterback at Texas Tech. But now, if we're looking at Drake May versus Caleb Williams, I feel like they're still obviously. I think USC has a better team around him, but you can start to bring that in a little bit more. 
I, feel no, like I think that's bypassed right. your whole argument of JJ McCarthy being in this. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we sticking with Drake May and Caleb Williams, or was it Drake May and JJ McCarthy? There's yeah, a clear no. top three. What? I think there's a clear top three, and JJ yeah. McCarthy is not in it. Yeah, uh, you'll see. I think when we're all said and done, he'll have the most accolades. Well, he's going to go to Minnesota, so I'm sure you'll he be happy. Minnesota. What have we done ever? <laughs> Nothing. We're the hey, worst team. And you next won a to... Super Bowl? No. no. But they have yeah. su- they have playoff success. Have they what? been to a Super Bowl? They haven't been I to a Super Bowl. I think maybe they went to but... one, but I don't think so. Like the first one in the 60s? Yeah. When, yeah, exactly. The second one? We're yeah, the most all... tortured franchise in, of all franchises. You can maybe Talk throw Detroit and Cleveland. Detroit Lions. Detroit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but here's my thing, and we've talked about this before. The Vikings, the, like at least you know Detroit, you're gonna be shit. Cleveland knows they're gonna be shit. The Vikings will like get you right there, I'm like oh you have a chance. And then a kicker that has not missed the entire season, not one field goal the entire season, misses at the conference championship game. You want you want to talk about a quarterback hitting the wide receiver lotto? Is whoever gets drafted to Minnesota is. Yeah. They have a great tight end, mm-hmm. great receivers, good offensive line. They're, that that quarterback is going to be in a good good position to win. Yeah, yeah. and they they're picking what? Where where, where, where are they at now? In they're at thirteen 11. Or, or 11. 11. 11. Yeah. But you think they'll go up? You think they'll go up? I think so. Yeah, I, I, well, I, think I hope up. they they stay and they hold their water. If JJ McCarthy slides, they they can just yeah, keep like, him there. You, I mean, I, I think who, you have to fend off the Broncos. Yeah. Here's my number one thing that we'll say over all of this. Two things, I guess. But one is you can't be the team that trades up. Like, I, I want J.J. McCarthy, but I don't want to trade three first rounds for him to go third overall. Same thing, I wouldn't want to do that for Caleb or anyone. If you think J.J. McCarthy <laughs> is the best quarterback in this draft. In this draft. What logic can you possibly have to be like, we need to go get this guy? And here comes my number two point. Even the best quarterbacks, what do they have, like a 40% shot to work out? Literally one and a half of these four guys are going to be all pros or pro bowlers. I mean, the there's been some guys who were like, they're going to come in and they're like, Andrew Luck came in, lit it up. Mm-hmm. Cam Newton came in, lit it up. I don't know if any of these guys are giving us that same vibe. And Even how many wins do they have? Or in like the Super Bowls or how many? Here's a a good question yeah, for you. But, how but many Super my, Bowls? My argument is I don't think wins are a quarterback yeah. stat. How many Super Bowls have first round picks won since 1995? First overall pick, sorry, quarterback have, overall picks. You have the answer to this? Yeah, it's, it's probably like two. It's I'm actually kind of easy when you think about it. Yeah, Matthew Stafford, Patrick Mahomes. You said first. Well, Stafford, no, Stafford was the number one. No, the first Stafford overall the quarterback one. pick. Yeah, no, Stafford oh, was first number one overall. in Detroit. Yeah, Stafford was number one with the Lions, but he won with the Rams. Yeah. Uh, Peyton Rams? Manning with winning Manning's... with the oh, yeah. with the Colts, and he won with the Broncos. Mm-hmm. Um, is that it? That might be it. I, I don't know. That's it. That's yeah, it. Two. Peyton Manning and, and Matthew Stafford yeah. are the two. Uh, sorry, Eli was number one too. So I think three. Oh, three. Two. That's since like 1995. Buy stock in Archie. That's that's what that's what that's telling me. Yeah, but I, I, my point is, I think Archie. two of these are going to work out. Maybe one. I'd even say one and a half would be the over under, and two are just not. And I'm going to say JJ and Drake are be the ones who work out, and the but other two are that, not. Does that mean then? Why it, does that mean these quarterbacks are not? good players or does that mean that winning is not a quarterback stat i don't i don't think either of those are the case i think uh, i guess that's not fair but I, I i think that there's just so much of an onus on the position that if you don't have a quarterback then you gotta you gotta get one and so the stock and and ideally you gotta get one on that rookie deal which kind of goes mm-hmm. to my earlier argument of do I want somebody now a little more season? Because the second I gotta pay you, like unless it's Patrick Mahomes, my mm-hmm. my 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 winning percentages go down. Worked out for Brady. Brady was dirt cheap, you know, when he was a sixth round pick. And then mm-hmm. Giselle basically put the Patriots on like a welfare plan by uh <laughs> subsidizing his salary. 
so you could make it work, but what other, what, how, I guess here's a better question. How many teams have won a Super Bowl where their quarterback is, is say on that second, second, third contract where he's really getting, getting paid? Oh yeah. Not many. Like Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, Ben Roethlisberger. Was Ben Roethlisberger, did Ben get paid like that when he won? Only the, the second time. The first one, no. The second one, he was like, he had a decent deal. And not, nothing crazy, but higher. Higher. Because the yeah. way these quarterbacks are getting paid now, I'm like, if I have a J.J. McCarthy, say it takes him two years to get up to speed, I got to mm. pay him year four. Oh, and they now, have a four option, so you got two. Yeah. Year but do you want to get him? But if, you, if your quarterback goes to the fifth year, he's not your quarterback. Because you want to lock them down early before that price goes up, right? Like, how many quarterbacks, when you're like, this is the guy, I let him get to that last year of the deal. Kirk Cousins is a prime Lamar? example of – Well, but Lamar is weird because it mm. seemed like nobody the, – the Ravens were like, I don't know if we could do this, and nobody else bid. Falcons, who obviously needed a quarterback, said straight up, we don't want him. Which is Kirk Cousins is a ridiculous, it, it, ridiculous. But Kirk Cousins him. is another one, right? Like he's a guy like, yeah, he's good to have, but I don't like yeah. really want to spend the money on him. To me, that yeah. is that is Drake May's future is Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins, that's no. Drake May. No, not no, no. Josh. We have a risk. And JJ McCarthy is Baker Mayfield. Now, not like Cleveland Baker, but like no. Tampa Baker. He's twice the size of Baker. JJ McCarthy. Well, I mean, he's bigger. Jay, I, like, I had, I had, Baker's I had tiny. Reversed. I would have said, I would have said, Drake May could be your, like, Josh, Josh Allen, Allen. maybe. Josh and, Allen Light. And, and your, like and your JJ ceiling. McCarthy could be a Kirk Cousins. Maybe. No, Kirk Cousins is trash. He can't win. <laughs> and he, uh, he, like, doesn't take any chances. The fact that he had, like, a mental, like, person in that quarterback uh, show just tells me everything you need to know. He just doesn't trust himself, he's not confident. Like Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Mahomes, they don't need a psychoanalyzer like going in their brain because they know they're the they're the man. The they man. can do it all. Cousins, like he's great when he's got a clean pocket, but when shit breaks down, off. So I will I'm not gonna... have it. I will not have this not, on my podcast. Not having it. Not having it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so... excited to see how it shakes out and how mm. uh, the the first round turns out. Nate, I know you're in Detroit, about to yeah. go to the draft. I'm going. Got my got my one pride shirt on. Let's. Huh. I love let's it. Go. Uh, how many? Well, actually, also before, Jaden Daniels allowed sixty five sacks over the last two seasons, the highest of any draft of any quarterback, ahead of only Will Levis. Or sorry, ahead of ever, anyone. So. Wow. And he's got a great offensive line, great weapons, holds the ball too long. Yeah, he can't throw over the middle. LS, he hasn't been in LSU this whole time. He was at Arizona State. Which was absolutely awful. But this is the last two seasons we're talking about, and was both his that? LSU seasons. Both right? of his LSU, okay, yeah. Fair. And uh, and if he was so good, why didn't he come out in his fourth year or his third year? Was it going to be top five? So was he going to win a Heisman? I feel like he had a lot of things that he wanted to to do. I don't think but he made any he wrong decisions. Well. He came back, and he got paid, and he yeah, won it worked he out for paid. him. So, I mean, if you're going to get paid in college, it changes the – the. Yeah. That, what are you, exactly. What are your guys' honest thoughts on Caleb Williams? We haven't really talked him. Oh, look at that. Head goes down. He's – you got to draft him first. You do have to. You have to draft him first. But what do you think? Are you willing to stake your professional career on skipping this guy? No. No, it's a no-brainer. You get him first. The, the the tough part for me is like I think there's an argument to be made that he's a system quarterback, so the same coach, an offensive guru for his whole career. His offensive coordinator was uh, who's the guy who was uh, Patrick oh, Mahomes, yeah, coach yeah. of Texas Tech. Cliff Kingsbury. Head, Cliff Kingsbury was the offensive coordinator, quarterback coach. Like, mm. but I mean, it, an incredible run. So it's it's hard to, it's hard to tell. And this past season, they they weren't great. The offensive line was shaky. He was trying to do too much. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. But you, you got to take him first. I agree. You definitely got to take him first. Uh, it, it, Kingsbury, it, I mean, I know we we're talking about who he was under and who he kind of studied under. But all his projects, have, for the most part, worked out in the NFL. 
I don't think he's stuck a quarterback in the NFL that you – I mean, Patrick Mahomes, number Do one. Do like Kyler? Right? Kyler Murray, he's still the starting quarterback, and he got extended. Do we really like – he got he got the extension. He's still a top – what, you can still make an argument he's the top 15 quarterback in the NFL? Top half? Nah. But you don't think he's top half? You don't think he's top 15? I'm, yeah, I would say – Close, the end of the season, he, yeah, it's close. in the end of the season, there. It's close. Like, what is that saying? He's like an average starting I mean, NFL, NFL quarterback. Starting NFL quarterbacks in the league mm-hmm. are, is a hard position to hold on to, right? Like, there's not, there's only 32 of them, and they don't change positions all that often. It's not like there's a whole lot of new ones I, I think, coming in. I think we're talking like any metric where you measure quarterbacks, and this this is veering way off course, but like, I don't, I just don't think Kyler really does anything great besides scrap. Okay. Mm-hmm. Stay alive. Like he doesn't win a lot. Doesn't, you know, you don't fear him. You're not scared of him like dicing up your defense really. He doesn't, is this too he small? He just doesn't do he just doesn't do much yeah. to me. Doesn't be too small. Okay. I, but Caleb Williams is about six feet, right? Six one. That was the other thing. He's way smaller than I thought he was. How tall is he? He's short, one. dude. He's like they say he's six one, but that means he's six feet. And on top of that, like when they when I heard the Caleb Williams like hype train, he's like, oh, he's this, he can do that, he can do that. I was like, dude, this was this dude six six, two fifty. Like I thought he was just a super freak. I don't understand how six feet tall. And also, I found their records. Drake May was nine and five at University of North Carolina with a D list offensive line, guys we've never heard of. What was Caleb Williams' record? This seven past year, and seven and five. Pac-12 was the hardest conference in football this year, to be fair. What? It was much more difficult than the ACC. <laughs> much more. Still, I don't care. Oregon, still... <laughs> playoff team. UNC. Washington, Washington playoff team. Colorado wasn't even that bad. I don't, still don't care. Seven and five? <laughs> and you're the number one seven overall five. pick, and you're six Utah. feet tall? And... 33 fumbles. He had 33 fumbles over the last two years. I, I Three think years, sorry. It, 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 to be fair to him, I think this was a case where he probably should have left last year. I he think couldn't. him coming back. I know he couldn't, but I'm saying, like, him coming back, having the Heisman, trying to live up, I think that's him just trying to do too much. Holding on to the ball, trying to make something that's happen. literally what I saw all year. I'm like, you're trying to do too much because I think you're trying to live up to this. And it, 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 his team just wasn't his, – his team was not going to be able to match, match that and, just, and be able to deliver there. I don't know if you guys are hearing this in your headphones, but it sounds like a lot of excuses for the number one overall cat miss pick. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, I get it if he's going to be a top pick, but this is what blows my mind is that he's the number one, no questions asked, no question. crazy pick. But then all we've done is make excuses for him. 33 fumbles over three years, 7-5 like, and five record, six feet tall. He's, he what sounds was Lux, good. What was what Lux's record him, that's, that, that his last year? Oh, I think he was like one loss, two loss maybe? He is, I mean, here's, here's the thing, right? <laughs> is he the best player in this year's draft? Arguable, I would probably say it's Marvin Harrison Jr. But mm-hmm. yeah. at Chicago, yeah. you're probably not going to take him. You have Keenan yeah. Allen. You have uh, number they two. Have yeah, they they have so many weapons. So hmm. you got you, you just have to. And th- yeah, you're not you're not taking JJ McCarthy, who you won't even trade no. up from eleven for. I will, but not three first, first round picks. Long. Exactly. I wouldn't trade up any of them for three first round picks. I don't to, think you need to trade up to get him. No, but I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be available. I think the only descendants or one of them is like being that team that trades up for does the Trey Lance, does the RG3, does where you're just trading the farm for someone when it's really like a 40% chance any player works out. There's so many quarterbacks this year that I, I don't think we're going to have a big – I don't think we're going to see too many trades because the, yeah. the, the QB needy teams – if, if you if you think you want, I mean, I know you're including JJ in this in this top four. So if you want to throw him in, it's your podcast. I'll let you put him in this top Thanks, tier. Man. So Caleb, Drake, Jaden, JJ, right? Top four. So if you're a QB needing team, you I think should be able to get them in that top mm. fifteen. 
Yeah. And then after that, if you feel like you need a quarterback, you still got this second tier of Penix, Knicks. Like you, you have other quarterbacks that I think you could you're like, hey, we got pieces, we have a team, we can make this work. Can you imagine, like, think about, like, how we feel, or I don't know if you guys feel, but, like, I get, like, anxiety during our fantasy football drafts. Like, I get excited, hype, anxiety. Like, can you imagine being the Vikings GM just trying to wait till 11, but not sure if Denver will jump him? And if he has other trade, that has to be one of the craziest. It's like when you were flying drones and you went after that one commander we can't talk about, <laughs> Nate. Like, I feel like that must be the rush that these guys have. Like, when you were... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no comment. All right, so check no check this out. I don't know if you guys saw, but Adam Schefter uh, released this like super interesting uh, tweet recently to talk about hit rate for uh, different positions in the draft. And so what they defined oh. by hit, hit rate was if they signed a second deal with their team. Okay. And it is it is so interesting, right? So. The number one position where the first round picks signed a second contract with their with their offensive team. tackle offensive line. The top three are all offensive line. Wow. The number one is center <laughs> at a ninety two percent hit rate. Wow. Where twelve players drafted, and this is from 2000 to 20, 2019, 12 yeah. centers drafted in the first round, eleven resigned with their same wow. team. Offensive tackle second with a 59%. Guard is third with a 50% hit rate. Huge Where do you think off. quarterback lies on this list? Like, give me a percentage. What was the last – what percentage was the last one you said? Guard 50? is third at 50%. I'm going to go – I'm going to say 35. I'm going to say 27 and, like, 12th on the list. So quarterback is at 46%. Oh. And is fifth on the list. So oh. 56 quarterbacks have been taken in the first round uh, between 2000 and 2019. And it looks like 26 of them signed a second contract. So it's 50, 50% hit rate. Yeah. How, how far back does this go? From 2000 to 2019. I would be curious well, what that list. 20 years worth of data. Right, right. But I would be curious what that trend looks like for the last, say, 10 to, to 11 years, say, say from like 2010, 2012 on, because mm-hmm. I feel like the dynamic of the quarter, like the timeline and the patience that we have for quarterbacks has changed since then. Like yeah. in, in 2000, 2001, right, you, you would be fine to draft a quarterback and sit him on the bench. Aaron Rodgers, prime example, right? I'll draft him. This quarterback of the future. You're going to ride out this first contract. You're going to learn, and then we'll we'll stick you out there when we think you're ready. Round year three, which I got to resign you because I, you, you just sat here for. I don't know what you can do. But since 2012 ish, 2011 probably time frame, right? The Cams, the Lux, the Staffords. You're our number one overall pick. You're going out there right now uh what does that look like because now i have i have three years of film on you and i as, as you're saying i can tell if you're that guy do does he break it down between there i know sometimes like having more data is good but this is one of those cases where i think our expectations uh for the position has changed very philosophical yeah and interesting interestingly enough i think <laughs> Yeah, in the analytics that, classes, that's what that I'm data doing. suggests that Daniel Jones was a hit. Yeah, which yeah. exactly, exactly and, right. And Kirk Cousins. Oh, he, but he's, but no, he didn't. Kirk, did he sign a he, second contract he, with he, Washington? He fra- oh, I think he probably franchised yeah, that's twice. Right. Franchised yeah. twice. So, but yeah. Yeah, I, that's fair, Nate, because Daniel Jones mm. is definitely not a hit in my book, or probably a Giants fans' book. So, mm. yeah, we'll see. Probably not. If you guys had to say 10 years down in the future, what do you say the top four quarterbacks? Top five, but you can throw Penix in there. Who will have the best of career draft. of this draft? <clears throat> I sold you all mine, which you guys don't agree with. It's JJ, Drake May, Caleb Williams, Michael Penix, Jaden Daniels. I got to go <laughs> Caleb. 
Uh, he's got a world of potential. He has Patrick home, Patrick Mahomes potential. Uh, he's going to a good situation with great receivers. He should be successful. Um, after that, man, I'd probably go Jaden Daniels. Of course. And then, and then JJ McCarthy. I'd, I'd, I'd say if, if there's a 50% hit rate and there's six top quarterbacks in this draft, those would be my, my three. And you, you want a top three or you want a top five? No, I want, want all. Like, yeah. Keep it. Who's all. four? You just want you just Josh. Want four, uh, four, four, five, four. I'll go Penix. Okay. Five. I think I'll, I'll go Bo Nix. Ooh. I think Bo Nix, uh, his dad was offense coordinator for years. He's a coach's son. Uh, he found his rhythm really well at Oregon. He's going to get drafted later, so he's probably going to go to a little bit more established roster. Um, he potentially could have the opportunity to sit for a year and learn. So I think uh, I just think <clears throat> the situation he, he could go to could be really beneficial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I'm hating on Drew May. I like, I like him. I think yeah. he's talented. I think he's incredibly tough. I saw high school highlights of him dunking the ball like crazy. I, I, they all can't be good. And he has two punts, averages 40.5 yards per punt. So <laughs> <incredible. laughs> You can do yeah. it all. I'm impressed that you have it, but it's very odd. <laughs> I knew you'd come out with me some shit, so I was ready. <laughs> yeah. So if I if I were to make, make this list, it's interesting because I, as we're talking about quarterbacks, I've been trying to think of, one, situation, right, like where you're going, uh, two, if you went somewhere and you sat, like how many quarterbacks go somewhere and sit now and then end up being the guy? Uh, I feel like it's a little more rare than what we're thinking. Like I know there's some pretty notable examples, but for every like Brock Purdy, there's you know like a Hendon Hooker who's still sitting on the bench behind Jared Goff. You know what well, I'm saying? Like, I think to your earlier point, it, now you have to play him right away because you're just wasting that rookie quarterback money if you're sitting him. If I'm sitting him, so. In in the top, I think I think Caleb Williams will put up the numbers. I don't I don't know wins, right? The Bears since '85 haven't haven't been able to really put it together. Uh, you know, being in the NFC, I guess they went to a Super Bowl in what '06, lost. But they, them as a franchise, they're still trying to figure it out. But they got they'll have some weapons, so I think he'll definitely put up the numbers. He can throw the ball. I think we mm-hmm. can all agree he can throw the ball. They got some receivers. Will the team put it together? I don't know, but I think numbers wise, I think Caleb Williams. Next, I hate to say it, I think I think I think Frazier could be right with JJ McCarthy because Let's I go. see him, especially if he goes to Minnesota and he has that, that uh just the quality of team that's going to be around him in the in the franchise. I think I know Frazier, you're saying y'all are have some quick heartbreak. Question. Quick question, but, like, what what state are you from? Michigan. What state are you in? Michigan. Okay, I'll just all right. Please I I I He's will go on record for saying <laughs> I absolutely hate the University of Michigan. So oh. it, it is like they could lose every game here <laughs> till eternity, and it wouldn't be enough losses in my book. <laughs> oh, uh, me and Michigan have no. There's no love there. Well, well, where, funny. Where's your uh, Where's your best man go to college? He went to Michigan, okay. but my mom oh. and my wife went to Michigan State. Oh, I knew that. I didn't reference and, that on purpose. Didn't reference and that on purpose. For, for anyone who doesn't know, Nate also played at the University of Miami. And it was interesting with Calais, and Calais's second choice was Michigan anyways. It's true. Hmm. I, mi- I missed that one? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, you played in Miami. Clay has played at Miami, but then Clay's second choice overall was Michigan. Really? Random. Did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Random. Yeah. Lloyd Carter. I think you just said that. Yeah, in our group yeah. chat or something. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No. So I, I think so. I got Caleb Williams, JJ McCarthy, just due to situation. I mm-hmm. think they all have the talent. Forty percent hit rate. You know, all those numbers you all threw out. Mm-hmm. I think he'll be in a position to really, really thrive there, and he had. Harbaugh coaching him up. So we know at mm. least there should be some good mechanics there, some good fundamentals. Next, um, oh, I think it could be one of our tier two guys. I- I'm thinking Penix. 
I think he could end up in a in a favorable mm. position uh, with with the right team. And then I I think the two that end up striking out could be Daniels and in May. I don't know which order, but I don't have a lot of faith in the Commanders, and I don't have a lot of faith in the Patriots because I just don't know what you have there. Rookie head coach, new ownership, no real weapons to speak of. Uh, Daniels holding on to the ball, trying to do too much, could very well happen in the mm-hmm. NFL. May, not necessarily having a whole lot of wins and success at UNC with D-tier talent. He's going to have D-tier talent on the Patriots these first few years. Does he do enough at a town that's used to deep playoff runs with a rookie head coach to get a second contract? I I, I don't I don't necessarily see it. So yeah. so I would go Caleb, JJ, probably Penix, and then then our, then our other two. So my take wasn't as blasphemous as we all thought. Is my takeaway. Jaden could be a bust. Caleb, we've got a lot of excuses for. I'm telling you, my bet right now, I'm putting $100. Caleb's underpassing. Jaden's underpassing. And $50 for JJ Rookie of the Year at what should be 6 to 1, 7 to 1. That's going to be my bet. The, un- the under uh, for Caleb passing is, is rough. I don't know what it's going to be, but mm. he's got some elite receivers there. So. so they'll probably put it higher than it should be. And- Potentially. Good. Well, I, I think he'll hit it, yeah. and I would have him pick for Rookie of the Year just purely off of numbers and the storyline. I would go Marvin Harrison Rookie of the Year. I mean, I, I'm not to say anything about Kyler, but we'll, we'll see how that works out. You know what? Dog walk Kyler Murray all, <laughs> all <Yeah. time>. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I might sprinkle a little, like maybe 25-er uh, on him for, for – when was the last well, receiver to win Rookie of the Year? I think like quarterbacks always win uh, these awards uh, now. Was but... it Jamar Chase or J.J.? Uh... Yeah, J.J., yeah. Did he? I don't know. Probably. One of them, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. They had to, right? Well, or last Joe year Burrow was CJ probably Stroud, have. right? Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. I bet probably Burrow took it home. Right. Or no, uh, what's his name from uh, the Chargers? Didn't he? Herbert? Herbert? Yeah, I feel like he was a rookie of the year. Ah. Oh, an AP defensive. We need a, we need a stat guy. Who's our stat guy? Uh, Gar- Somebody- so CJ Stroud. Oh, Garrett Wilson won it. And then Jamar Chase. Then before that, Justin Herbert, Kyler Murray, Barkley, Kamara. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's not always a quarterback, yeah. but. Yeah. If, so if right, I'll sprinkle a little on Marvy. Then I could easily see him. Oh, well, yeah. It. If he lights it up. He's got the weapons. He's right. got the arm. I don't think they'll win Does a lot. The ment- I don't think they'll win. Does he have the mental fortitude? Does he put an eye black that says. F it shows, the, shows Detroit confidence. Lions underneath. It shows confidence in knowing who he is. One of shows confidence not going seven and five the year you're getting drafted at a major school. That's what shows confidence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we ran over time, but it was so much fun. Nate, have fun at the draft. Will do. I had draft questions for you, but I think I wasted enough of y'all's time. I'll ask you in the group chat. Perfect. Dope. All right. Appreciate you Love having you. me. Thanks, guys. All right. There you guys. Bye.